Hey, um, I wanted, I did a live stream last night or a few hours ago, really. Um, and there's a lot of updates since then. So I'm going to do another quick video, but first I wanted to kind of recap the live stream for those that don't want to sit through it and I'll do it very quickly. I just took notes of what I talked about in the live stream. And if you want to go look for it, I tried to put them in order. If you want to go look for, um, any of these things I talked about, then this is what is on that hour long live stream. But I know that I'm giving you guys a lot of content lately, posting every single day with lots of updates. Things are changing so fast and all over the place. And so, um, so thank you for being patient with me and letting me do an hour long live stream. I know that's kind of annoying. So this is what I talked about. I talked, it, it says scared. The title of it is scared because Obviously, everything I'm going through right now is really scary. Um, house update, and then I'm about to give you a new update, but I did talk about what I had known up to that point. Um, talking about how um, we're talking about the GoFundMe and saying thank you to each uh, donator, donator, donor, donor, donate, donator year. I don't know. Oh, my body is okay. Hold on. Hold on. Crap. Hold on. My body's not okay. Hold on. <sighs> okay. Um, okay. So yeah. So I said, thank you to the GoFundMe people. And then a bunch of people also were like giving me money on the live stream too. And so I was thanking them and calling everyone dumbass. Cause that's what I do. And I say, thank you. If you donate money to me, I call you dumbass. Um, and I talk about why and all of that. So, um, and then we spent a good few minutes talking about why this whole situation is so hard for me because of BPD. So if you have borderline personality disorder, I'm sure you can relate to what we talked about. And if you want to learn about borderline and, or at least my specific, um, experience, especially with what's going on right now, we talked, I talked all about that. I really opened up about that. I talked about my recent weight loss in the past week from stress. We talked about the shrimp toss video, I, uh, we watched, we watched my shrimp toss video cause someone brought it up and to make me smile and it did. So thank you. Um, we talked about fasting when you have an eating disorder, like, like for your faith, like, you know, like in our church, we fast the first Sunday of every month. Um, and it's a show of sacrifice and it's also a, a way that we can donate, um, to our church and people who need help in our church and all that stuff. So we talked about how, um, if it's safe to fast, if you have an eating disorder. So if you want to see that, we talked about, uh, merch. We talked about, but not very long. I just said that we're going to try and do it this year. Um, and then we talked about the cure to life. We actually talked about a lot of cures to life. So if you like to go watch, it's actually really easy, um, to overcome what, we have to deal with. So you should go watch because <laughs> it's really easy. So anyway, and then I saved this one for last, uh, because it's kind of what I wanted to talk about after I give you the newest update. Um, um, which is kind of has to do with like other YouTubers that talk about eating disorder stuff. Um, so stick around for that. But the quick update, the new update is that we had a meeting after the live stream, we had a phone meeting with the owners and let me just say, first of all, they're the sweetest, most generous, um, empathetic people in the world. Like I cried, I don't even know them and I just cried and they are so sweet. And, um, and you guys know that, you know, they had somebody like what I talked about in the live stream, I guess I'll say that again. Um, was that they wanted to meet with us and um, that I had found, a, you know, I've, I found a house that I love that's just down the street from us. Um, but then I found out it's not, did I already, wait, did I already update that part? Okay, never mind. Scratch that. Okay. Just let me, just the meeting, um, basically we found out cause I was kind of hoping that <laughs> they were going to be like, Hey, um, we decided to scratch the whole selling thing and we're just gonna let you stay, but we're going to up your rent. And I would have been like, yes, we're fine with that. Please do that. I knew that was wishful thinking. I knew that was not probable at all. Um, and of course that's not 
what they said. Um, they're actually, you know, it, we, we've got to, bottom line, we've got to be out by April 30th. And, um, but they are so freaking generous and sweet. You could tell that they feel terrible about having to do this. And they're like, we can, and they wrote us, they wrote us the most beautiful recommendation or whatever that's called reference, I guess, for us to get a new place. They wrote the most beautiful reference for us as renters. And that means the world to me. I need to text them tomorrow and thank them. It was too late by the time we got it. I, I, I thought it was too late to text. I don't know if they watch me, but if they do, oh my gosh, that was the sweetest. They just went above and, and beyond in that reference. And Ugh, that made me cry. Like that made my heart sing because I knew that they are just trying to do everything to help us. They offered to not charge us rent for April. Like they are doing everything they possibly can to help um, this be easier on us. And so we are unbelievably grateful. Um, so we're about 99.9% .9 sure now. The only, the only way left we can stay Um is well they're going to put it on the market now because they've actually get, been getting higher offers now even higher than the number they told us which is blows my mind um but they're going to put it up and and see if other people are interested and whoever is interested they are going to ask each one of them hey are you guys looking to re-rent because the tenants would love to stay there um that's the only chance we have of staying here so we are just pretty much logically um and I talk about this in the live stream. You sh really should go watch it. Um, the logical part of me is like, okay, we're moving and we need to be out. And the BPD part, the stressful, the hard, the mental part, I'm working on. And I've got my ups and downs throughout the day. And this is exhausting and it's painful. And it's also making me stronger. And it's, it's making me realize that I have more strength in me than I thought that I had. Um, and on the other hand, it's also making me, you know, it just, my body is a mess right now and I'm not taking good care of it. And that's something I'm working on. I promise. Like I realized that, I mean, I kind of collapsed again tonight after our meeting and I just, I, I need to be taking better care of my body. Um, it's really hard for me to do that right now, but I know I need to, so I'm going to work harder on it. Um, anyway, uh, they were so sweet and everything. So, um, but I told you guys that there was a house down the street that we really, really wanted. Um, but we found out it's not, uh, available until July 1st. I don't know if I already told you that. I think maybe I did. I'm not sure. I think I did in the live stream. I did. So if you miss the live stream, um, it's not actually available till July 1st. So we were thinking, okay, well, we could totally just stay with my mom in her basement um, and save money for a couple months and, and move in. And um, that doesn't sound like that's going to be an option either right now. So um, the newest update is that, that we are most likely moving for sure. And also we don't really have anywhere to go if we want to get that one house. Um, but we'll find a way. We will find a way. Danny and I talked tonight and cried together and it brought us so close together tonight. And we are just on board with each other as partners, ready to make work what we need to make work. And I am personally just trying to work on accepting the loss of this home, my safe place that we built here. And, um, and I'm really trying to focus on, you know, I'm going to be sharing with you really soon. I know I've been saying that a lot lately, um, but there's just something I have to do before I share it with you. And I haven't been able to do it yet. Um, but there's something I'm going to share soon that I went through recently and, um, Yeah, just stay tuned for that. Um, I'm really nervous about it. And I know I want to talk about it. I know I want to share the experience with you. I just don't know if I'm ready. However, I think I need to share it with you because I've been having this gnawing feeling that somebody out there needs to hear it. So, um, anyway. Uh, anyway. Um, I will just say that I just went through something unbelievably traumatic. Um, and... But I will say that like getting through it and surviving it really gave me a wake up call 
and a change of perspective that I've been needing probably my whole life. So I'm grateful for it, even though it was really hard. So I will be talking about that soon. Um, but anyway, so that's the plan right now is that, you know, we'll figure it out. If we end up getting this house that we love and we think is going to be good for us, I get to go see it on Tuesday, by the way. Um, he did send me a video of the house, but, he, but he's like, I totally understand if you also want to come see it and feel it out. And I'm like, yeah, I really want to. So, um, so Tuesday is when I'm going to go and see it. But again, it's not available till July 1st. So, um, and I don't think mom's house is available right now and that's totally okay. Um, so we're just going to look into like, you know, none of our other family really has any, any room either. And so I think we're, we're going to look, if we get that house, we'll just look into like staying at a really cheap motel for a couple months or I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go. But I'm feeling very unified with Danny after our heart to heart tonight where we cried together and realized that we are in a big fat pickle and that there a lot of this is is it, 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 just like, just when we think it can't get harder, it does type thing. But then we also realize that, holy crap, we have each other. <laughs> Some people don't have that. We have survived so much in our marriage and we have each survived so much in our entire lives. And I'm excited now to, as scared as I am and as sucky and shitty as this is, I'm excited to see what adventures are coming for the both of us. Now, keep in mind, I have BPD and probably in like an hour or two and probably my next video, I will be breaking down again and crying and saying that this is the worst thing in the world that's ever happened and that I want to die and that I don't want to be here and I can't deal with this and I can't do it. Anyway, I need to move on. This is too long. Okay, so then I wanted to talk about, we brought up a tiny bit for just a split second. We talked about uh, 50 shades of chest pains and I'm uncomfortable. Okay. <sighs> I have some thoughts that I've been thinking about for a while about 50 shades of chest pains, about other people that talk about eating disorders on the internet, people that talk about it and don't have an eating disorder like 50 shades of, um, chest pains, Ari, um, people that do have it and talk about it like me, people that do have it and don't talk about it like Eugenia, you know what I mean? Um, and I've been doing a lot of thinking about our community. And I think I might, you know, I, this is rough. Okay, let me just start here. I'll make a whole video about my thoughts, but I want to know your opinions. And I covered you so you wouldn't scream right now. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Give mama two minutes, okay? They're going to be loud now. I'm sorry. I'll have to... Maybe if I talk quieter, they'll be quieter. And I'll just go and fix the volume. Yeah, that's working. Is that working? Are they still working? I don't know. Anyway, um, a very good friend of mine, Sam, made a video about Fifty Shades of Chest Pains. And she brought up... She brought it. I'm sorry, not she. Oh my gosh, I'm the worst friend in the world. They, sorry. I'm getting used to it. I will get used to it, I promise. I, oh, I'm a mess. Um, they made a video about Fifty Shades and brought up how, basically kind of how he shouldn't be talking about people with eating disorders because he's never lived it and he hasn't experienced it. And whether it's appropriate that he, first of all, talks about this stuff when he hasn't, um, experienced it and also the fact that he does put like triggering pictures and triggering content and all of that they are very uncomfortable with that and that's very very understandable and obviously he he from his here's here's my here's my stance okay um Ari has never done anything to me that has made me upset he's always uh been supportive and I don't know him very well I don't know him super well um, all I know is that I found him because he made a video sticking up for me against, um, 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 Diet Coke head a while ago. She made a video that was like, F you educating Shani and like F, F you educating Shani fannies and all that. If you remember 
her, and by the way, I have thoughts about her too that might surprise you, um, that kind of goes with this big idea that I have, but we'll see what happens. Um, because just, I'll just sum up right now, I don't think she's as horrible as people think she is. So anyway, back to the Fifty Shades. Um, so all I've known of him is, is he's made videos standing up for me against her and telling the facts that she got wrong in her videos and the assumptions about me that she got wrong and he set that straight and he's always been very kind to me and, and I've never had a problem with him. However, I have had many people, not just Sam, not just my friend, many people come to me concerned about this and so I've been kind of racking my brain back and forth. And to be honest, it's been a nice little distraction from the stress that I'm going through. Um, but I have some ideas about this and I want to hear your guys' opinion because I don't know. I just feel like there's this tension going on that needs to be addressed. And this video is long enough. So I have a lot of thoughts about Fifty Shades, about... Um, Diet Cokehead, about Mia, about me, about um, Eugenia, all these things. Um, I just have a lot of thoughts about everything and I've got thoughts about Fifty Shades and Diet Cokehead and I've got opinions and I've got things but I would like to know what you guys think. Is this something that you would like to see? Is kind of talking about the different channels on YouTube where they talk about eating disorders mostly, um, but other mental health too, but mostly, you know, the eating disorder community. I'd love to know your thoughts about it. Like, are there p people that bother you, myself included, you can tell me, um, I get it. Like I've made mistakes in the past, big mistakes in the past, and I've apologized for them and never did them again, but like, nobody's perfect. We're all just here trying to learn and trying to help and, um, but I mean, there's opinions being thrown around, like, are you trying to help or is it, or are you just using it for clout or are you using it for attention? Are you really trying to help? And I've had questions like that thrown at me as well. And I know how hard that is from my point of view, because I know I'm trying to help, but I don't know. I, I would just love to hear, but I guess my opinion is that I can see both sides of this uh frustrating situation and i don't have a problem with either side so maybe there's a way we can peacefully resolve this and let me know what you think about what i've said i'm going to be getting very much back into youtube i don't know if you've noticed i've been posting every single day and as soon as we get settled wherever we're gonna be uh, my videos will be better and they won't be these annoying vertical in the dark videos but listen it's either this or nothing so which i'm sure some of you would prefer nothing but anyway okay i'm this is way too long okay i love you guys let me know what you think and i'll keep you updated tomorrow if i hear anything about the house situation but if i don't then the next video might be about some some of the things i just told you about so stay tuned all of that is coming so i love you guys thanks for watching and remember forever and always that you're beautiful you're worth it and i am too thank you for watching bye i love you guys Hang in there, and I will too.